Hello, everybody. As you see, I am washing my hair. Actually, co-washing my hair. I just washed it and rinsed it out. And I put my Hello Hydration by Herbal Essence inside my hair. So it's soft, but I have really dry hair. I actually wanted to show you this video showing you how kinky my hair is. However, I can still put my fingers through it. Also, in my co-washing, I also use the Giovanni Hydration Calming Conditioner. And it's for normal to dry hair. This is the small one. I have a bigger bottle as well. But right now, after I wash my hair, I actually use this product. The Shea Butter by Can 2. Okay? It's really thick. So I just take a little bit of this. Okay? I need a lot, although I don't have a lot of hair. But this stuff can make your hair really, really white. Okay? So I take it. And I just rub it through my hair. Rub it all through. And I'm just going to put a little glob right in the center. This is my driest part in my hair. The center. Where my soft spot was originally. And I just rub it all through. Now, after that, I then use the Fruit Teeth Anti-Humidity Smoothing Milk. I just pour a little bit in my hand. I'm running out. <laughs> All right. Actually, it looks like a lot. <laughs> but like I said, my hair is really dry. Now, I put this in my hair because some people just use it when they blow dry. I use it because it's... How can I say? It's really light, but you can feel like the moisture, the oil moisture to it that I that my hair desires and it, it needs, okay, which helps along with the Cantu Shea Butter um, Leave-In Conditioner. It helps to hold and lock in that moisture in each of my hair strands. Okay, because my hair is simply kinky. Okay. One, I also use the Fruit Teeth Slick and Shine Moroccan Oil Oil Treatment. I use this and I pour more than usual in my hair. I rub it all around my hands and I rub it all through like a crazy person. This as well as the anti-humidity hair milk helps to smooth out the Cantu Shea Butter. Because I know many of you already know this. This can leave a white residue in your hair. So the more oils that's inside of your hair, it's better. Plus, I like to use the anti-humidity by Fruities, um hair milk because I usually go under the dryer. Next is the 100% African Shea Butter. <laughs> I have this one. It looks very seedy. Um, it's more of a whip texture. And now, with the addition cream, I'm going into the center of the head. Woo, girl, your head sure is nappy. And I just detangle a little bit more. I detangled as I was washing as well, people. But I have hair that draws up pretty fast. Doesn't take a lot. As soon as I sweat, it's a wrap. Now, as you see with my hair cut... My hair is longer in the front and shorter in the back. I lost a little more um, when I was washing my hair. But it might have been double this size. But it still wasn't that bad considering. 
I barely use combs. I always twist my hair without a comb. Only time I detangle is when I'm washing. All right. So see you in a few. I'm going to just start twisting and I'll be back. Hello, I'm back. My hair is now complete. After I added all the Shea Moisture and I twisted my hair, it took me about 30 to 40 minutes. As you see, there's some white residue from all of the products I previously added. And right now, I'm going to show you that I'm adding some Slick and Shine by Fructis Moroccan Oil Treatment. I, I really like this product. Actually, I like Fructis products. They're not one of my favorites, but they are my staples and my go-to, which may seem like a contradiction. But I'm just rubbing it through my hair. And I like the Moroccan oil because it's fast and easy and it gives it a nice shine to your hair. But my hair is really dry, which is why I have to add these oils. Now, I'm going to sit underneath the dryer with this in my hair, including the Moroccan oil that I just placed on top. And once I'm out, I well, halfway done with the dryer, I'm going to show you another product that I also add in. Um, to my hair while it's drying and that's the Shea Moisture Smoothie. I like to put that within my parts, but I like to put get underneath the dryer first for a little while All right, see you in a few minutes Okay, I've sat underneath the dryer for about 30 minutes. I'm adding the curl enhancing smoothie for moisture just inside of the parts of my hair and I go underneath the dryer over again. I need this product because this product it has a moist base to it and it's really really soft so it helps my hair to retain moisture good morning hi i'm just going to take out my hair hello now i'm unraveling my hair fast as you see i'm picking it out and i'm thinking I'm ready. anyway it's your girl g spot my hair is set i am ready to go i hope you have a wonderful day and thanks for tuning in don't forget to like or subscribe it's your girl's g spot baby I have decided to add a few photos in, and this is my hair. I took a couple of shots before I left out. So you can see how it looks, and I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's your girl, G's G-Spot. I'm out.